One of the most frequently asked questions that I keep hearing uh, from many students is uh, what is the use of taking this course? Uh, well, uh, probably you, you are here because you know what is the use of taking this course. If not, then I think I should, I should probably give you a few bullet points as to why I think the course would be useful. Firstly, of course, the topic is very interesting. Um, in, for, in its own right, it is fun to learn uh, the science of uh, social networks. We only use Facebooks, we use Facebook, we use Google, we use uh, you know several online portals, and uh, we seldom think about the science that goes behind these uh, portals. And this uh, course generally, uh, I mean, this course unleashes these uh, scientific uh, and engineering facts. That's one reason. Second reason is that uh, you probably have learned programming and you want to see uh, some programming in action. Probably you are bored uh, writing code uh, to sort few numbers um, or finding median of a bunch of numbers or some graph traversal uh, questions. So I mean I am sure if you have done a first course in algorithms you would have done all these things. But over and beyond that can you see something applied? Can you get your hands wet uh, and then try programming something and then observing something? and making your share of inferences. This course is a good candidate uh, uh, for, 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 for those who have learned programming and they want to go one step further and then see what kind of engineering happens in computer science engineering. So let me take up this course and then see what kind of programming is useful here. Okay, that said, um, if you uh, want to sharpen your programming skills, again the course is a, a great place. The next question, the next point, the next reason why I think the course is useful is especially if you are a research student, if you are planning to do your research in a related domain. Okay? Social networks today is a very hot and happening um, uh, topic and if you want to pick up uh, the subject, this probably is the right way to pick up the subject where you, we go slowly with each and every topic, we follow only one textbook so that it is easy for you to go follow up with the course and then learn stuff and then uh, uh, continue with the lectures. So uh, in case you want to uh, pitch into some uh, research in social networks, this would, this, these 30 hours of lecturing that we are giving would be the best uh, uh, way to start I would say, um, to, 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 to learn more about social networks and look at some open problems. In this connection I should say, um, uh, we are going to give you some lectures on some of the research directions in social networks. Yet another reason why I think the course should be uh, useful for you is uh, if you are plain curious to know what has sociology to do with computer science, the answers are in this course. And this could be probably one of those uh, very few courses where there is good amount of computer science and there is a whole lot of subjects as well. For example, you have sociology, psychology, math, physics, uh, computer science, you see intersection of whole lot of subjects coming in a subject like social networks.